pictured Crystal Bayer Nieves, 19, who was shot and killed while working at Burger King in Harlem early Sunday morning. A teen girl was gunned down and killed during a robbery while working her shift at a Harlem Burger King, with the killer making off with only $100. Crystal Bayer Nieves, 19, was working as a cashier at the Burger King at 116th Street and Lexington Avenue in East Harlem around early Sunday morning when an armed robber entered the restaurant at around 1 a.m. The gunman pistol-whipped a male customer before punching a female manager in the face. Bayron Nieves, who just started the job three weeks ago, gave the robber $100 cash from the drawer, an eyewitness said, according to her mother. The criminal turned to leave, but turned around again and shot Bayron Nieves in the torso, according to the New York Post. The teen was transported to nearby Metropolitan Hospital, where she was pronounced dead. She didn't deserve to be mowed down while working at a Burger King, a police source said. Her family told the Post that she had already requested more security and moved to the day shifts after fearing for her safety when leaving work. She is only 19, and she has more than 50 homeless people sleeping in front of the store. Her mother, Christy Nieves, 36, said in Spanish through friend and translator Natalie Pagan. Surveillance photo of the suspect, Wright, wanted for killing the 19-year-old cashier while robbing the fast food eatery for just $100. Pictured, cops investigate a fatal shooting of a teen working at the Burger King at 116th Street and Lexington Avenue in East Harlem. The body of Crystal Bayer Nieves is wheeled out of the Burger King early Sunday morning after she was fatally shot in the torso during a robbery. Her mother went on to say she felt particularly torn over her daughter's death after convincing her to continue going to work despite the teen's concerns. Crystal said Friday, I don't want to go. I'm scared, Nieves said. I say, you have to go and be responsible. At 10 p.m. I wake her up to go and tell her, you have to go. You have to be responsible. You have to get a better life. Pagan added that Crystal's mom feels guilty about that. That's what she tells me earlier, that she feels guilty because she wakes her up to go. The teen was transported to nearby Metropolitan Hospital, where she was pronounced dead. The robber has yet to be identified or apprehended, according to police as they continue to investigate and canvas the crime scene, pictured above. NYPD Commissioner Key Chance Sewell on Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg's Woke Crime Policies, a January 3 memo sent out by Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg, was criticized by NYPD Commissioner Key Chance Sewell as it elaborated on his woke crime policy beliefs the memo detailed the idea of reducing sentencing for nonviolent crimes such as burglary, armed robbery and drug dealing despite the recent growth in NYC crime Bragg said that he will not seek carceral sentences for criminals unless they were guilty of murder or a handful of other crimes he deemed serious enough to warrant prison Sewell sent an email detailing her concern over Bragg's ideas, as she felt it could put officers, as well as the public at risk, I have studied these policies, and I am very concerned about the implications to your safety as police officers, the safety of the public and justice for the victims, Sewell wrote in the email obtained by the New York Post. Sewell also said Bragg's sweeping changes would cause harm to local businesses already reeling from the pandemic and would invite more open-air drug markets and drug use in Manhattan. She added that the changes could lead to more gun violence as well as exacerbate quality of life concerns. The new charging policies of the Manhattan District Attorney effectively decriminalizes much of the conduct that New Yorkers are asking the police to address, she wrote. In addition, Sewell she agreed with Bragg's hopes for more criminal justice reform in the Big Apple, but argued that the NYPD was already making headway through its community-based policing. Advertisement According to family, a young man, who stopped by to see her at the restaurant to bring her a flower almost nightly, was there when she was killed. He told us he was there until her last breath, Pagan said. He tells us when he went and walked to the place that he always buy her a flower. He went back 
and they opened the door to this guy that was dressed like them, in all black. Baron Nieves reportedly mistook the robber for a delivery man, before he punched the restaurant manager, and the knocking out the young man there to see her. Hagen said the teen ultimately gave the thief all the money in the register, about $100 in cash. So, the young man, says that the guy turns around and he comes back and shot her, Hagen said. That he turn around like he is going to leave, but he comes back and shoots her. She'd done everything that he say, she said. She give him the money and everything. That she didn't even do nothing wrong. The robber, who has yet to be identified or apprehended, was described as a slim male who was wearing dark clothes and a black mask, according to police. Authorities have since released surveillance video footage of the man wanted in the teen's death. The fatal robbery comes as New York City's crime rate soars after Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg's controversial decision to downgrade burglary, armed robbery, and drug dealing crimes felonies to misdemeanors. The number of robberies has since increased by 19.4% over the course of the last week. Meanwhile, former NYPD Commissioner Bill Bratton lashed out at Bragg, claiming the city's new woke top prosecutor is handcuffing the police as authorities search for Bayron Nieves killer, while blaming George Soros for Bragg's election. Current NYPD Commissioner Key Chant Sewell echoed Bratton's claims and slammed the new policy as she considered it a danger to officers. Bratton, who said that Shorosh has effectively destroyed the criminal justice system in America, called Bragg's woke policies of downgrading burglary, armed robbery, and drug dealing from felonies to just misdemeanors a recipe for disaster. He's well intended in the sense that he's trying to find a way to address some of the issues of the past, Bratton said. You don't address the issues of the past by effectively decriminalizing just about everything in New York City. Pictured, Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg downgraded armed robbery and other crimes from felonies to misdemeanors. Sunday's fatal robbery and shooting incident comes as crime continues to surge in NYC with a 19.4% increase in robberies reported. Bratton said newly elected Mayor Eric Adams has his hands tied in terms of crime while Bragg's office implements its woke policies. Mayor Adams had promised a return to broken windows policing after winning on a tough-on-crime approach campaign. I don't know how Mr. Adams is going to do that when the DA is effectively handcuffing the police, he said. Several of New York City's borough district attorneys also took aim at the soft-on-crime policies laid out this week by Bragg. Meanwhile, Crime Stoppers is offering $3,500 for the killer's capture as wanted posters, with a surveillance photo of the killer, could be seen gracing the streets of East Harlem on Sunday.